Welcome to the video. We're going to talk about a little bit of time trialing and a bit of cycling tips here. So, just to start the video, I've got Natasha riding a bit of panties in the bag just to show you the uh, cycling lifestyle results to save money, get fit, burn fat, not oil. And it's just a great way to see your town on the bike. Well, let's get into the video. If you comments or questions, hit us up down below. We have a spin here. We are on the Pragma Glycogen, the gears aren't working properly because I've got to replace the housing up here. We've got a top tube bag, the bike bag dude, which is fantastic for touring and stuff, but it's annoying as heck when you're doing a TT because you'll hit your knees. Why don't I put that up today? Because we're going to do a mental TT. We're having things that don't work, like the gears jumping around, the top tube bag hit my knees, and also these shoes here, look at that. They just, they're cooked. My boa dial shoes have busted, and so I've got the backup shoes on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a TT with things that I nag the heck out of me. Loose shoes, tick and front wheel, jumping gears, and a top tube bag. All right. So if we can conquer that mentally, then that's the training there. So that's another thing is people like, oh, like, how do you get faster? It's like, train the head. Train the head, all right? Training the legs and the lungs, that takes time. But training the head, boom, that's instant choice any given moment. You can have 400 watts in your head. Only have 200 watts in your legs. Maybe that's all you can got physically because your blood or whatever your condition. But if you don't have, if you've got 200 watt legs and a 400 watt head, that's better than 400 watt legs and a 200 watt head. All right. So that's another thing people don't understand. Training the mind, the mind wattage. That's huge. All right. Let's go hit up Norton Summit. I'm gonna ditch this jacket, stash it in the bushes, and go a bit of a TT. We've got a little bit of a headwind today as well. So not perfect conditions, but good mental conditions. So we've got bad conditions for time, but perfect conditions. For mental. It's not so much just there. We ripped out the mic, get a bit of audio. Let's do it. So the time trial, 400 watts in the head. You can't control the head winds, but you can control the winds in your head. All right, the winds in your head are always the loudest and strongest. People are like, oh, head wind. Nah. I wish it's a tail wind. Well, don't we all? But you can't control the head winds or the tail wind. We can control the winds in your head. All right, so tail wind thoughts, tail wind at 400 watts. That's what I'm talking about. I wish there was some uh, some crew out today, but it looks pretty barren. Normally, it's like a, I'm normally this is my, one of my haunts. Just wait around here for the bunch to come up, or some young lads to race. They love it. They love it. And uh, but it's, it's pretty dead today. I haven't seen anyone out at all. But it is pretty uh, pretty average conditions. This is a sunny London day. Uh, yeah. Anyway, enough yapping. Let's make it happen. All right, stashed the jacket. Got rid of the bottle, and we're going to go for a little TT. The wind as well is not favourable at all this morning. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a good mental chest. So today the goal is 400 watts in the head. It doesn't matter what the legs do, but the head has to stay on 400 the whole way up. Uh, that's the goal, 400 watts. If you want to learn how to ride more power, get fitter, then you have to start in the head. Uh, if you don't have it in the head, you'll never, ever, 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 ever have it in the legs. It doesn't matter what drugs or whatever is going on in your, in your body, if you don't have it in the head, you know, then you won't have, never have it in the legs or the arms or whatever you're kind of trying to do. All right, gonna bomb me warm up and uh, let's get cracking. Let's see if we can see, hold 400 watts the whole way up. It's easy to be excited, but at the start of the TT, you'll be all hyped up. Yeah, let's do this, let's do this. But when the lactate kicks in about four or five minutes in, then that's when, you know, holding 400 watts in your head, that's, that's the real test right there. So four, four or five minutes in, that's when I really start to, uh, the legs start to buckle and you really feel that blood taste in your mouth. And that's when you keeping the 400 on the head. Oh yeah. Let's go, how you believe me? It's 80 watts. It's 80 watts in the head. A few times I slipped up, but got it back on a point, but probably just 80 watts, mentally. Oh, such good fun. Such a mind fuck. Such a meditation. Wow, this air is just like, so clean. So clean, so so healing for the lungs. Oh wow, that's a lift pump. That's my meditation. Just drooling everywhere. That was fun. Mental challenge, love it. Oh, that was good. Such a mental challenge. Had all these little voices come up. Oh, you've only done three and a thousand k this year. You're 11 kilos of extra muscle. What are you doing? It hurts. All these little voices come in. You just like. Poof. Hit them back with 400 watts, bang. And every second they come in, longer than a second, and you're losing watts from your average, so. Those little voices are always gonna come in, but it's whether or not you give the voice a voice. Wow, that's so good. But yeah, the music, I 
tried to turn it off and it turned it off and then it fell out of my ear and just a lot of faffing around but it, every time that happened I just didn't go oh my god I was like okay that's happened cool next keep pushing what's 400 400 400 so things are gonna happen to you in life but it's how you deal with them how you react to them that's what matters that's what matters so the 400 watt aspect can apply to any anything in life anything in life so so yeah wow <sighs> need a frosty breath this is what it's about Whew. carbon up Winter fresh air, getting it done. I'm gonna go back down now, grab the jacket, and uh, maybe do another warm down lap. But yeah, <sighs> wow, what a ripper day. Also, when you're doing your TT, boom, bright clothing, bright clothing. Always be paying attention up the road. Don't be looking down and then banging into something. You know, if you look down, look up before you look down, all right? So always pay attention, be seen, be seen. I'll run a mirror as well. If I'm on my earphones, I'll run a mirror, see what's behind me. Just, yeah, be paying attention, all right? You might be in a world of hurt, but it doesn't matter. You can still get ran over or crash into a kangaroo or crash into a ditch, all right? So just pay attention at all times. Be seen, all right? Black gloves, maybe, but bright kit, bright helmet, bright socks, bright bike. Yeah. Something bright on you, especially your jersey and your helmet. Oh, that's what it's about, man. It's being safe, man. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Share it around, and uh, you know the usual deal. Let's get down the hill. What we use today? These are the shoes. These are the worst shoes you've ever seen. Worst conditions. Buckles. Just, when I'm pushing watts, it's just slopping around. It's like moving out. Both shoes just, it's just heaps of slop. But good mental training. Shoot bike today. Keeping the big one the whole way up. Absolute black rings, and uh, yeah, it's pretty aggressive sort of setup on this bike. Does the job, it's a Pragma, glycogen, and it's based on the FM66 series. So I found who makes the best ones, who does the best service and paint and stuff like that, and so I get them from there. And if you want one, visit duranide.com. It's got a 27.2 seat post, so if you, if you break your seat post in a crash or you want something different and easy to get, standard seat post clamp, so nothing you can lose on the holiday. If you do lose it, any bike shop in the world pretty much can get one of these for you, for very, very cheap. It's got a standard fork, so if you do crush that and snap it, I can send you one out, or you can go to like a bike shop get one. Non-proprietary headset, just easy bearings to find. You know, derailleur hanger, we can, there's a pretty easy to find as well, we can send those out to you. And just yeah, custom paint as well, any colour you want. Logo, no logo, just doingride.com. You know, free shipping anywhere in the world, so. Corona slowed things up a little bit, but people are still getting their frames every week. Fantastic ride bike, 25mm tire uh, race style. If you're into climbing, into fast, this is a very, very aero bike as well. Very, very aero. Look at the front profile. Just how skinny that is, you know? Very, very skinny and so light as well. That's what you want. Something that works. There's nothing worse than a, a proprietary designed bike where this bike, I can work on everything. The bottom bracket, this BSA bottom bracket. So easy to switch out, no creaking. This is just easy to do, you know, just everything on this bike is just easy to work on. And so lastly, when you do buy a bike, ask yourself, how much would it cost for a new seat post or seat collar clamp? Is it easy to get? If I smash the fork out, can I get the same color again? Blah, 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 you know. The bottom bracket, is it going to overlies because it's press fit and I have problems with it? You know, is it BB30 creaking or is it BSA all the way? You know, so other things to ask yourself when you get a new bike, suss it out. If you're brand new to cycling, stick with the alloy. Because you're going to have your crashes. This stuff's really lightweight, very, very high-end carbon. So I don't recommend it for noobs, really. If you, but if you had a few rides under your belt and if you had a few crashes, you know, to care for your bike, then get, you know, the carbon's good. Just rides nice. Otherwise, alloy's fine, and it's much more durable than carbon in terms of crashes. Carbon's more durable for miles. So this will just last forever and ever, unless you're smashing the back of a car. Or the alloy, alloy eventually does crack. Titanium eventually does crack. Carbon does never cracks, like just for miles alone. Especially this new stuff, like it's just it's just designed so well. They just just they just done designed it so well. This bikes, there's thousands of them out there from this factory, and they just yeah they're just flawless. So I just want a bike that's reliable. It's not gonna fuck up on me when I'm on holiday or whatever. Remember my S Works Epic back in 2018, brand new bike. Took it on holiday, boom, shock's gone. It's like six week holiday, bam, no bike packing, you know. So that's what that that's what killed me for the proprietary stuff. I'm I'm, I'm just sticking with standardized product, you know. Might not look the latest and greatest, but it just works and it rides really good and it's cost effective. And this bike won't end up in landfill because you can't get a seat post for it one day. 
Anyway, that's the rant and that's the raven. That's the top of Norton Summit. Mental clarity. Far out, man. Nothing beats the time trial in the cold air. It's just, just uh, ox ox oxygenates your whole brain. It's fucking awesome, mate. It's fresh air, man. Could stay out here all day. Always got these insights, extra insights once the camera's turned off. Uh, so just for me, it's 400 watts is my magic number. That's like, if I can do 400 watts in 10 minutes or five minutes, I'm, you know, that's, I'm really good, uh, good for fitness there. But again, if you can do 400 watts, hypothetically, if I can do 400 watts, you're going to do 410 or 405 or 420 or 4, you know what I mean? So for some people that they go, oh, 400 watts, no, I can do 400 watts, I can be doing right here, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, good. Well, that's great, that's fantastic, but can you do better? Uh, that's what happens in life, we often get to a certain level, just we just we want to compete and we just, oh, I'll beat that person, I'll beat that mark, but like, why settle for that? Go beyond that, all right? Go beyond that. I know so many kids out there who could be pro, pro cyclists, who want to be pro cyclists, but they just, they have the 400 watt legs, but they have the 200 watt head, or they have the 380 watt head. You know, they get to 400 watts, go, yeah, job done, see you later, bye, but they could have done 450, you know, so there's plenty of people out there who are just satisfied to beat a certain little goal, but it won't keep going because of fear of self-judgment or fear of judgment from others or whatever. I've, I've known so many kids out there over the last 20 years or whatever, they, maybe they beat me up in the summer and then they just, they go, oh, what next? I'll beat Durnard. I'm not in summer. Oh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> it's like that one's quite quick cycling or whatever. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting because uh, that was their goal. So it's important to reach your goals in life, but don't stop there. Like, keep going on. And as the part of the goal is really who you become. And reaching those goals. It's not, not about just about getting the goal, go, okay, done. It's like, who do you become to get that goal? All right? Who do you become? That's the goal process. Of, uh, that's the real the benefit right there. Who do you become getting that goal? Yeah. That's, that's a fantastic thing to think about. Otherwise, you can just so easily inhibit your potential by just getting it. Okay, I got 100k subs. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. Upload once a month. Oh, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Like, so many people like that, aren't they? We, we, we settle, we settle, man. We get a certain goal, then we just go to comfort zone. So, oh, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd, I used to be a pro cyclist or a pro runner or a YouTuber. Yeah, like, you know, I've got a verified tip. Yeah, it's all good, you know. And then that, people just do nothing, man. It's crazy, crazy, man. You know, if, there's, if there's work to be done, there's work to be done. Don't, don't settle down. Don't sit down and do nothing. You know, scroll through life. Some people scroll through life, don't we? We, just, we get a certain goal or whatever, and then we just scroll through life. And then we get to 40 or 50 or 80 or whatever, or 20 or 25 or whatever. And go, shit, man, I missed a lot of opportunities just because I was scrolling. Just because I thought I was uh, the hot shit. But, uh, man, there's always someone nipping on your heels. Anyway, get out there. TT it. Mental meditation. Learn how to relax yourself. And it will be very, very tough. you have those little voices come in your head. You haven't done this. Your knee hurts. Your bum hurts. Your whatever. And if your knee does hurt, if it's genuine pain, then obviously stop. But if it's just lactic acid, then yeah, just keep rolling. And that's uh, that's what comes with experience, knowing when to stop and when to keep pushing. And when you're just telling yourself a bullshit excuse and when there's a legitimate reason to stop. All right? Most of the time it's just bullshit excuses. But yeah, listen to your body, listen to your joints. Anyway, see you on the road. One last one, one last pit. If you fear judgment from other people, if you fear judgment, I see it in cycling a lot, you know, because cycling is something I know really a lot about. And I'll see younger riders, and they could have won the race, or they could have done an attack, but they don't because they fear judgment from their peers, and they just sit in the bunch and roll across the line. It's like, oh man, All right. are you really going to go through that whole life just sitting in the bunch? Oh, I could attack, or might not, or I don't know. You know, and they ride their mouth closed, or talking to the mate across the line. Like, I'm, I'm not trying today. I'm just, I'm just going easy. I'm not trying today. It's like, come on, man, you're fearing self-judgment, and if you fear self-judgment, you'll never ever be athlete in life that you could be right? so fuck self-judgment fuck judgment from other people right? just do it man. just do it like a like a like an animal like if you watch a greyhound run or a dolphin dive or whatever a whale crash in the ocean it doesn't worry about judgment it just gets it done